Hi, how would you feel if you could talk to Bill Gates about your business, Elon Musk about going to Mars, and uh, fashion tips from Cara Delevingne, Cara Delevingne or Kendall Jenner, and story writing tips from J.K. Rowling or George R. R. Martin. This would literally change the life and direction of any highly ambitious person. And most importantly, this can be done for free. So the new thing in Vogue is Clubhouse. At the moment, it's valued near $1 billion and it continues to skyrocket. It was founded by Paul Davidson and Rohan Seth of Alpha Exploration. So what is Clubhouse? So Clubhouse is basically a place where you can talk, share stories, deepen friendships and basically the deal is you get to meet people from around the world and as a platform what Clubhouse can basically do is it's like Zoom but without the video. So basically Clubhouse is basically like you know if two people are on the phone and they're talking uh, it's like it's it's almost like uh, phone tapping or stalking where you can listen to a conversation from two from two different people or maybe even more and uh, you, there, there is a chat option where you can ask questions so it's basically like uh, a Q&A session where uh, an interview is being conducted and you can also ask these questions so yeah it's it's like zoom or it's like YouTube but going live on YouTube without the video or be, or better the, the better example would be uh, live radio where radio is very much real time and if you've listened to radio interviews you can ask the guest questions uh, as the listener and the, the guest in the radio office will probably be asking you questions so something like that and at the moment it's in vogue <laughs> and uh, it, it, it's, it's a hit right now because at the moment it, everybody wants to tune in to listen to all these superstars and a lot of superstars celebrities are joining in and it's also in a way helping uh, the growth of uh, clubhouse so now let's look at how uh, important or useful it's going to be so in the past uh, people had mentors and mentors were pretty expensive and exclusive to people who were affluent and uh, so basically the, the concept of a mentor was not meant for everyone but today with with internet the accessibility has opened up to the whole world where uh, where these incredible platforms like twitter or clubhouse make everything super accessible and most importantly uh, we, we get to, we get access to all these superstars we can chat with them and ask them questions for free so which means I've heard of people who while uh, are while in Clubhouse are taking notes from Elon Musk or Bill Gates or Chris Rock, Oprah Winfrey, uh, Drake and so on and so forth. So, any, so if, you're the, if you're in the music industry, you'll probably be taking tips from Drake uh, in a live Q&A session or when you're asking questions to Drake through the, through the chat option. Or when Elon Musk was famously there, he was interviewing the CEO of Robin Hood for, for very different reasons. And okay, that, that conversation went pretty viral, but the deal is, the deal is you have accessibility to all of these people and most importantly they share their wisdom at one shot there'll be million people taking notes uh, million people who run different startups and all of these people will be taking notes or million people will be will be will aspire to make a celebrity tomorrow and they can be taking uh, tips from a, a, a Hollywood superstar or Cara Delevingne, Delevingne, Delevingne or Kendall Jenner for fashion so this is one way where Clubhouse has really showed great potential or strong promise as a platform and uh, and yes, going forward, it's, it's continuing to increase in growth and importance. And let's see, right now, let's see who are the superstars at the moment who've uh, been part of Clubhouse. So the, the guest list so far in Clubhouse has been some superstars like Opera, Chris Rock, Kevin Hart, Elon Musk, and a few more. And as this app continues to grow, you can ex you can anticipate or expect to see more and more superstars coming and shine the wisdom across different fields. So it's basically like Twitter where you have all these different uh, it's one platform where you have all these different celebrities from different fields who come and share tweets or share their wisdom and anybody else from the interested in that specific field can tune in and listen to it so you can have chris rock you can have kevin hart you can have drake for rapping or music and opera for a different reason or elon musk for talking about mars or tesla or you can have bill gates going to be talking about uh, microsoft and people who are interested in business or any field basically or in politics or whatever can tune in and basically listen to the conversation so it's so in a way it's basically like twitter except in twitter if somebody tweets you can it's all verbal so you can ask them questions verbally and here it's going to be live so you can ask them questions through audio in uh when it's live and anybody else can also listen to it and uh, Clubhouse at the moment you cannot record a conversation but as, as a platform they cannot record it but people who are listening to the conversation they can record it. 
the, the audience basically. And at the moment, the only issue or con, if you want to call it, is Clubhouse uh, is the, the invite is very exclusive. So at the moment, I think they have a limit of 5,000 people only. And I think as as time goes by and as they increase, uh, it's going to the growth is going to increase, and so can the, the servers can also handle more traffic. And at the moment, it's not able to take more than a, a specific limit, which I do not know what the limit is, but they're not able to go beyond that. And uh, and yes, it's continuing. It's expected to grow. And since the invite only option is only for uh, people who are on iPhone at the moment, and it's only limited to five thousand people, uh, the anticipation is as things as time goes by, uh, it's going to be open for people throughout the world. Who, people who are, who have any smartphone or smart device is going to be open for all of them from across the world can tune in and listen to it so the cons for clubhouses like any other internet platform be it facebook or twitter or any other famous internet platform is hate speech so the deal is facebook twitter and all of the, all of these other internet platforms since they've existed for more than a decade or two or, or a decade uh, they all have a content moderator where when you when there's a hate speech of people launching tirades or diatribes or lampooning other people publicly uh, they have a content moderator who can come in and step in and you know limit the whole li li limit the, the cesspool of all the negative uh, things that's being said but here since clubhouse is relatively new and it's only been a year uh content moderation is being the issue right now and hate speech is being spread i mean hate speech in different forms are, are going across the platform also because it's live and real time it's very very hard for, for for content moderation to happen but of course the anticipation is as time goes by as things get mature as clubhouse matures uh the, the, they will have a content moderator and things will be more relatively monitored in a much better way than before so how impactful can clubhouse turn out to be that's the big question. So it's very hard to specifically prognosticate such a trend, but the deal regarding this is Clubhouse can, it's showing such a strong promise in terms of value that the amount of traffic it already, it's already bringing is so much where it can beat podcast and TikTok within the next four to five years. And the reason this is the deal, this appears to be the deal is because of the live chat real-time option, which uh, which the podcast and TikTok don't have because most of it is predominantly pre-uploaded and then the comment section, the comments flow in and whatever, whatever happens there. Uh, so obviously it's, it's completely understandable if something is happening real-time and live and audience tune in to engage and participate in that and they find it way more compelling than, some, that, way more compelling than something that's already pre-uploaded. So this is one of the strongest reasons why Clubhouse as a platform has so much of USP, uh, not, just, not just in terms of offering value, uh, in terms of wisdom and whatnot, but the, the real-time live chat option at the moment is, is one of the biggest USPs. And guess what? As the platform continues to grow, I'm pretty sure they're going to add way more amazing features where it's going to be even more. Uh, so which means during live real time, uh, when you're trying to ask questions, they, they can probably add even more innovative features to keep the audience engaged while doing all this uh, live option, live things. And uh, it could only help uh, the apps uh, grow even more. And of course, I wouldn't be, I mean, it wouldn't be surprising. None of us should be surprised if Clubhouse as an app is the most downloaded app uh, or, or it even beats TikTok and Facebook because in the next four to five years, the amount of strong promise that the app is showing is so much and already Elon Musk came and bro broke to the servers in terms of the numbers and the traffic. And uh, once Clubhouse, I think, I think once again, more investments and they grow a, a, a lot more, they can handle more of these, more, uh, more traffic in millions. And this could help uh, the platform grow and more successful people can come in and uh, most other people can come and show up and share your wisdom and take things forward. So it's one of the biggest promises at the moment as a platform. And within the next four to five years, we can totally anticipate everybody will be part of Clubhouse and Clubhouse is already in vogue and it, 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 it's probably going to uh, beat a lot of other famous internet platforms and it's showing very, very strong promise. So in the comment section, please let me know what you think of Clubhouse and would you be, would you be using it? And if at all you use it, why would you, you would use it? Or your, who's your favorite celebrity or superstar for, for the reason for the reason why you would want to show up to Clubhouse and listen to? And uh, also let me know if you found this video useful in the comment section. And uh, if you did, I'll make more, more of such videos in the future. But yes, most importantly, tell me why you feel Clubhouse will be important for you. Uh, apart from that, thanks a lot for watching this video and uh, see you in the next. Bye-bye for now.